this video, we're looking at tree diagrams. Tree diagrams are helpful tools to help us list the sample space for a particular experiment. The sample space is the list of possible outcomes for the experiment. So let's take this problem. It says list the possible outcomes of flipping a fair coin three times. Well, if we want to list all the different ways this could turn out, one of the efficient ways to do it is to use a tree diagram. So let's talk about the first flip when you flip a coin. When you flip a coin, it can either turn out to be heads or tails, right? That's the only two possibilities for the first flip. Now, for the second flip, we have the same kind of thing, right? Let's say the first flip turned out to be heads. The second flip could be heads or tails, right? So we're going to branch out from this heads to the two possible outcomes that could occur on the second flip. And likewise, if you flipped it first and got tails, then the next flip, the second flip, could turn out to be still either heads or tails. And so again, you would have from tails to heads, tails to tails as the possible outcomes. Then for the third flip, you have the same kind of thing, right? If I flip the coin on the second flip and got heads here after first getting a flip of heads for the first flip, so I have two heads, my next flip of the coin could either be heads or tails, right? And then you imagine that, you know, if my first flip was heads and my second flip was tails, my third flip could still be either heads or tails. And so if you go on and on with the pattern, you'll see that each one of these will branch off to a heads or tails, heads or tails scenario, right? Okay, so once you know that's true, then what we do is we just trace the different branches of the tree until we get all the possible outcomes listed. So we'd say, okay, let's uh, erase the words of this problem here so we can fill in our possible outcomes now. So we'd say, is, okay, look, first look heads, we could go heads, 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 that's one possible outcome. So if I flipped it three times, I could get all heads, right? Then I could go heads, heads, tails. So I'm just following each of the branches, right? I did heads, 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 then I do heads, heads, tail, right? So heads, heads, tail. Then I can go, so this is all used up, right? This path. Then I can do heads, tails, heads. Heads, tails, heads, right? So heads, tails, heads. Then heads, tails, tails. Heads, tails, tails. Okay, at that point I've gone heads, tails, tails, so I've done that, and I've done all the branches on that scenario. Now if we start out with tails, we could have tails, heads, heads, right? Then we could have tails, heads, tails. Tails, heads, tails. We've used up all those branches, so that one's done. And then we could go tails, tails, heads. Tails, tails, heads used up that branch, and then tails, tails, tails. At that point, we've used them up, all of them. And there it is. So there are your eight unique outcomes that can occur. Eight unique outcomes. Heads, 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 tails, heads, tails, heads, heads, tails, 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 heads, heads, tails, heads, tails, 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 heads, tails, tails, tails. And that's all of them. All right, one thing that's important, you'll notice it also gives us the order, right? And so we know that, you know, of course, you know, two tails and a head is not always the same, right? Because we have two tails and a head's here, two tails and a head's here. But the head, occur, the head occurs at different positions, right? So for each of these cases where we have two tails and a head, we have different positioning of where the head occurs, and so that makes it a different possible outcome for the experiment of flipping a fair coin three times. All right, and that's it.